Okay, so we're going to show you how to fit the mirror glass replacement kit in the Range Rover P38 rear view mirror. So here we've got one off the car. Um, so it may be cracked because you've hit something or it may be degraded and you may want to change it. Also, the heating element could have failed. Um, they do fail and this one that we're selling here does come with um, a heated backing to it. Right, so... Um, you can pull this mirror off. Now it's better to, to pull on this outer edge, the outboard edge on the car, um, so you can push it out. And if you grab this, you can sort of pull this, this edge up. Okay. Now that will release the mirror glass from the carrier. Now our carriers come off here. So what you'll see is on one end of the mirror glass, you've got like a little hook and then on the other side you've got two clips and what happens is this clicks onto this little interposer um, when you put it back on it you hook that one side under and then this side clips under these two clips here like so okay so you've got you've got two parts you've got the the mirror glass back and then you've got this sort of interposer part now this interposer part actually fits onto this circular part and let me get this right let me get this the right way up now the key to it is i believe it it can go either way up um but it's got a little groove so if you look at the top here there's a little groove in the top which corresponds with these little grooves here so when you put this on um, it as you rotate it will sort of dock into position and then clip um, now this one when you take it off they often break um, so you can see this one here if I do it against the white background can you see that that's broken um, so when we supply the new mirror glass we supply the new little interposer part with it um, also there is one of these little um, vibration dampers and this goes when we put it in the mirror it goes in this little slot here and it stops the mirror sort of shaking well that's at least what we reckon it does um, now on the back of the mirror you'll notice there's a little clip there where that clips in okay so that clips in there and then when we thread that back in we'll try and put that into that slot there the other thing that wasn't connected when we took our mirror glass off earlier because we've been playing around is the um, the two connections for the heater it doesn't matter which way round you get them um, we're going to put the earth one on the top right, you want to push them straight on you don't want to twist it too much okay um, okay, and then we're now going to mount the interposer um, into that. So again, we're going to slide the one end under the hook, and then clamp the other end in under that. Okay, so this is now ready to reassemble. So we need to just make sure we try and get that tang into the slot. The anti vibration tang. Okay, that's that. And then we've got to just get that square in the middle of the mirror. Okay, and I can feel that's not rotating. And then clip that on. Okay. Okay. So when you're happy that's clicked in, you you want to give it a bit of a move about to check it to check it is securely fitted. Uh, you might have to press it a couple of times to. To get it to click in um, but yeah when it's fitted you'll be able to move it about like so without any danger of it falling off obviously you can do it on the car we've just done it in the studio to give you a bit of a better picture so uh, good luck with that